Hi everyone, I am not Harshika Guri. I am a detective sent to look out for zombies. This is Halloween and I have some secret information that there are some zombies out there and they really like to eat my special zombie dal. Let's go ahead and make this. My expression is flat because I am a detective. When I think of Halloween, I know there are a lot of ghosts out there. There is a song that I can think of. It's called Nandi Konda Vagulona. I know it's in Telugu, but this is a song that depicts ghosts. So here we go. Nandi Konda Vagulona Nalla Tumma Nidalo. Chandra Vanka Kona Lona Sande Puttu Sikatlo Needle Unna Neeto Vastunna Nago Dedi Yedi Nape Dedi Nada Dedi Nava Dedi Oh I was supposed to be really serious but I started you know detectives can be funny at times so let's dig into our Halloween special zombie dal so for the Halloween zombie dal we need some chopped onions chopped tomatoes few chilies depending on how crazy and spicy you want it some chopped cilantro or coriander ginger garlic paste salt cumin seeds a pinch of garam masala and a few onion seeds or kalonji but that's optional and for the Halloween zombie dal, we need horse gram, the black kind of horse gram and we need to soak it in water for about 4 to 8 hours. Well, that really depends on you. If you don't soak, you just have to put it in the cooker for more whistles. Anyway, this is the horse gram. So for this dal, it cannot get any simpler. So we just have to throw in the chopped onion, the chopped red chili, I mean the chopped tomatoes. We need our green chilies. the onion seeds the ginger garlic paste the chopped coriander the cumin seeds or here i have shajira and finally we throw in our dal out of all the ingredients we just reserve the salt and garam masala to the very very end because putting salt will not help the dal cook faster and once we do that, we add in a little bit of water so that the dal can cook easily. And then we put it on stove for about 10 to 15 whistles to make the dal really, really soft. So once the dal is cooked, this is how it's going to look. Remember, we did not add salt and garam masala. So before, before we do that, we'll add in a little bit of water to the dal and mash it up a little bit. To this, we are going to throw in the garam masala and the salt. So that was my Halloween special zombie dal and it's very very nutritious not just for zombies but human beings as well. So if you like it please give it a try. This black color dal is definitely going to make your day really really special. It's really tasty. Forgetting all those things just make it just make it okay. So I hope you liked today's episode if you really did press that okay and please share this recipe and do subscribe to me okay so i'll see you next week until then bye bye hey guys i'm harshika Gudi. how are you all doing remember a few weeks back i had made two chutneys a tamarind chutney and a mint coriander chutney and I told you that I'm going to show you a lot more recipes with that so I'm going to show you four recipes in the coming weeks but today we are not going to see one recipe but we are going to see two different recipes with the same chutneys so if you want to know how to make those two base chutneys click on the link on top right view it and then you're set to go